First, you have to make a mark every half inch down both sides of your folder. Then connect those marks with a straight line and cut out your eight strips. Next, you'll glue two strips around your rocket engine. Just make sure you don't glue your strips to the engine, but around the engine, forming a small circle. Now you take the two strips off that you glued around your engine and you will have the beginning of your mount. Now you will glue the remaining six strips around your starting mount. This will give you the mount that you will later hot glue into your paper towel tube. Also, make sure that you glue all the way down your strips. This is so that the strips won't unravel later. Pinch your cone in to make the point. Then stick the cone into the tube and cut above the measurements. This will give you your cone. To make the bottom of your nose cone, you'll multiply your tube's diameter by 3.5. Now fringe the top two inches of your rectangle to, and stick that into the bottom of your nose cone. Make your fringe rectangle a cylinder, then stick that into your tube. This will make sure it fits nicely. Take the fringe part of your nose cone and glue and stick that into the inside of your nose cone. Use the parachute template to make a circle. Now cut that circle out and this will be the starting of your parachute. Now you will cut 8 strings of 22 inches long. Attach the 8 strings to your parachute by taping them at the top, bottom, left, right, and in between, all with the 2 inch overhang. Now to tie your strings together. First make sure all your strings are even, then tie a knot at the bottom. Now cut off excess strings. You're going to tie and attach the nug to the end of the 36 inch string. Tie and attach the nug to the bottom of the parachute. Now you're going to have your teacher hot glue your nugs into the top of your nose cone and into the rocket tube. First draw out some rocket fins. Remember they at least need to be two inches. Then transfer the measurements to cardboard. Draw your rocket fins onto cardboard. Now cut them out. Now they are ready to be glued onto your rocket.